welcome friends to our next part of the tutorial in this part of the tutorial we would be talking about the logical operators in the last tutorial we had discussed about the relational operators basically we all know that relational operators showed the relationship between two values while this logical operator is used for connecting this relationship we would be understanding it here how actually it is going to connect the relations for this first we would be understanding each of the following logical operators and then we would be implementing or compiling a program to understand them more easily so let's start first with the end operator that is denoted by 2 ampersand sign Basically, when we are working with the logical operator, we are actually connecting the relations. So, in the AND operator, we see that two relations are given. The first one is 4 is greater than 3 and the second one is 7 is less than 8. Basically, for the AND operator to return the value 1 or true, both of the relations are required to be true that is 4 is greater than 3 is the true statement while 8 is greater than 7 is also the true statement so the value we are getting is 1 if we just change the greater than sign to less than and write 4 is less than 3 the relation is false and the whole statement goes false and the logical end returns 0 or false as the result so basically these are the relation operators and both of the conditions are required to be true. Now let's talk about the logical OR operator. For uh, the logical OR to return the true value, any one of the relation is required to be correct. That is, it is given that 5 is less than 3. We know that this one is the false relation but we know that 7 is less than 8 is true so the logical OR would be returning us with the value 1 that means true if both of the statement would go false then the logical OR would be returning us with the value 0 but that's not the case we have to say that any one of the statement at least any one of the relation is required to be correct in order to get the value 1 or get the true as the return so it's what the basically logical OR does now let's talk about the logical NOT operator basically what does this operator does is that it re reverts the true statement into false and false statement into true that is if we are writing 5 is greater than 3 and we are using the logical NOT operator. We know that the relation 5 greater than 3 is true but the logical NOT would reverse it into the false statement and return us with the false value. Else wise if we had written that 5 is less than 3 and used the logical NOT then the logical NOT would have returned us with the true value that is 1. So basically it interchanges the true value with false and the false value with true. Now let us try all of this operator in a program. As you can see that I have already created the program by the name logical.c. Inside this program I have a main function with describing the three logical operators that is the logical and logical or and the logical not in the first block uh, in the first line we have used that logical and and we have written that 5 is greater than 3 and 7 is greater than 9 we all know that for the logical and to return us with the true value any one of any both of the relations are required to be true here it is given that 5 is greater than 3 which is a true relation while 7 is greater than 9 is obviously false 
hence we would be returning with the value 0 that stands for false. In the second statement, we are using the logical OR. In the logical OR, any one of the relation at least is required to be true to return us with the true value. We all know that 5 greater than 3 is correct while 7 greater than 9 is the false relation. Since we are using the logical OR, hence this one of the relation is true so we would be returned with the value 1 that stands for true and in the third line we have written that 7 is less than 9 obviously this statement is correct but when we compile and run the program we would be getting the statement as false that is 0 since this logical not would reward the result as false so let's compile and see what happens just click on execute compile and run you can see that for the first statement 0 is printed for the second statement 1 is printed and for the third statement 0 is printed so basically logical operators are much easier to use and uh, while practicing we would get a note on it so if you liked our video just hit on like subscribe and do share thanks for watching thank you